Real estate agents understand the difference between profitable and unprofitable efforts and how to apply this knowledge to supercharge your real estate business. So let's get started. First, we understand the concept of profitable efforts versus unprofitable effort. Every decision we make either puts money in our pocket or takes it out. Profitable efforts are those activities, habits, and choices that not only generate revenue, but also creates time, free up mental space, and result in action or momentum. On the other hand, unprofitable efforts are those that steal our time, delete our mental space, and increase insecurity and confusion and leave us broke and stagnant. Now do me a favor, do not mistake the difference between investing in something and spending money and losing money by doing something that's not profitable or does not make sense. You can spend money and actually be profitable from investing. Two totally different things, two totally different videos. As real estate agents, we need to constantly evaluate our decisions and actions to ensure that they are profitable. Okay, point number two. How do we measure our efforts? Well, there are several metrics that we can use. These include income or revenue, the number of listings, closings or deals we've made, and the leads in our pipeline. But it's not just about the numbers. We also need to consider how we are actually capturing attention. Our audience, remember, attention is currency. How many engagements do we have? It's super crucial that we understand this for success. Point number three, there's a lot harder to do than just financials and numbers. We also need to consider our levels of energy, motivation, inspiration, and excitement. Got a lot of that. These are the fuel that keeps us going to keep pushing through the challenges. Your mindset is a make or break for your career. Without the right enthusiasm or motivation, you will find it hard to get new leads and stay profitable. I tell everyone, high energy equals high income. Number four, let's not forget about our authority, our influence, and our brand presence. Remember, marketing and innovation is the backbone behind every single business. It all starts from marketing. You wanna be a top producer? You need to be a top marketer. Everyone needs to know your brand. This is one of the most vital aspects you need to have to be a successful real estate agent. The stronger your authority and brand and their presence, the more clients will trust you and the more deals you will close. I call it winning before you arrive. When you have an online presence, this gives people the chance to start forming a parasocial relationship with you. Meaning people are gonna start thinking that they know you before they even meet you. Now ask yourself this, are they seeing your content while they're scrolling on different platforms or are they seeing your competitors? Point number five. Lastly, it's important to take an inventory of our efforts. What are we doing daily, weekly, and monthly for our business? You wanna keep track of everything you are doing. It's gonna help you feel more accomplished, seeing everything you're getting done, and keeping track of our efforts. By measuring profitability, we can also make necessary adjustments to ensure we are always on the path to success. Remember, what you track grows, what you don't want. Okay, everyone, so I hope you understand that by applying these principles, they can significantly impact your real estate business. Remember, it's not just about working hard, but working smart, making sure that your efforts are profitable and success will follow. Don't forget to like, to share, subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, keep closing those deals. And if you wanna learn more, do me a favor, click the link for my Unstoppable Agent Virtual Mastery Class where we deep dive into this and so much more, and I'll see you then. Make sure you put it on your calendar. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.